So how do you have the AI power play intervention yes. not end the same with that CIO at the end saying, it's not what I expected? What's the divergence between what you do and what typically happens on a transformation project? So anywhere where we go in an intervention mode, obviously you have these transformation projects already underway. You probably have seven of them going on right now, depending on the size and scale of your organization. You're a 25 billion company, you probably have 10 transformations going on across the board. And these transformation projects are probably hundreds of millions of dollars. The last thing you want to do is, oh, who is this upstart company and why should we care? Of course, they teach an AI master class and they know a thing or two about AI. They're a good platform engineering company, so we do have a pedigree and we work in the financial sector. So most of our customers that we're talking to are the financial sector. But what do we do that's different on the AI power play? The first thing is really the foundation. And it's really about bite-sizing the foundation. So you can't chew, even, you can't even walk in and say, oh, we're going to change the foundation. It's like walking into someone and saying, oh, we're going to change the foundation of the White House. It's not going to happen, right? Because you know, you're going to have to start small. So you're going to say, oh, we're going to go to a shack that's on the side of the White House, and we're going to fix that. So it's really identifying that shack and fixing that foundation and building it in a way that whatever foundational layer we have built is elastic. And so now slowly that layer just stretches and the technologies like cloud and AI just give us that elasticity today. Mm -hmm. So now you can elastically stretch that shack and the foundation of that that can start to slowly slide under the entire White House. Now the entire White House has got a new foundation. That's the core of the foundation. And foundation's really about basic technologies, the web layer, the app layer, and the data layer, without getting too technical. And, and the web and app layer foundationally have already evolved. You have containers, you have Kubernetes, you have CDNs, and all kinds of ways to elastically expand through the cloud. But the data layer has always been the challenge. And that's what AI PowerPlay is all about. It's about building an elastic data layer, which will seamlessly spawn across your enterprise. And people have tried this.